Don Adventurer, your quest awaits. For the first time, we've put the hands of the engineers who have heretofore been the game designers. They've designed all the games we see in the arcades. Now we're taking Hollywood and the screenwriters and the people that work with dramatics and we're putting them hand in hand so that engineers and uh, dramatists, if you will, will now work on what will be in the arcade market. And that's why I think you'll find something that is tremendously more exciting, something that will pull you into the screen like you haven't been pulled before. These kids at the Celebrity Sports Center here in Denver are playing the newest rage in arcade games, Dragon's Lair. You've seen how different this game looks from the average video game. The reason is the players are actually playing a movie. Options are presented to the player on screen, and it's up to the player to react correctly. The scenario changes depending on the reactions and decisions the player makes. Make the wrong decision, and our hero, Dirk, meets an untimely end. It was invented in part by former Walt Disney animator Don Bluth, who has struck out on his own and in the last few years has been responsible for the animation in the motion picture Xanadu, and for the artistic and critically acclaimed Secret of Nim. First of all, you have to give the illusion that the game player is in control, when indeed he may not be. But you must give that illusion. I thought, wow, that's right up our alley. That's movie making. Give the illusion. Present a moment to him in which he must react, a moment of danger, and then get him to react to that moment at the right moment. Then you'll see another scene in which he is saved from that. I thought, well, that's very interesting. How can I design a game which will present enough of those moments in short little periods of time to where the game becomes exciting and gets him keyed up. And that was the challenge of designing the game. Dragon's Lair is as different from normal video games as Space Invaders was to pinball. There's absolutely no comparison. The task of putting the game together was awesome. 13 animators sketched 50,000 drawings of the characters in action. 24 drawings for each second on screen. The drawings were then transferred onto clear plastic sheets called cells and painted. Intricate detailed backgrounds were drawn and painted as well. Special effects like raging fire, crumbling walls, and deadly vapor were added to signal immediate danger to the player. The cells were combined and then each drawing was sent to the camera department for photographing, one frame at a time. 1,440 frames for each minute of finished product. Dialogue, sound effects, and a musical score were added to enhance the feeling of playing a movie instead of a game. Finally, the entire film was transferred to a high-resolution laser disc for use in the game itself. An incredibly complicated process. An incredible game. Dirk's task is to get through all the various dungeons and obstacles so he can ultimately save a damsel in distress from a terrible dragon. It's harder than it looks, and the game costs 50 cents per turn, although you are given five tries to make it to Dragonville. They call it participatory video entertainment, and it's expected to give a big boost to the already soaring arcade market, which brought in more than $9 billion last year. That's three times the amount of money made by the movie business. Dirk is sure to keep those quarters coming in. <laughs>